Good morning. I have forgotten to turn on the mic. So, here I am, talking about my day, and how the weekend was great, and I saw it, and I thought it was good. Some people disagree. Omar's chilling. He's like, yo, dog, you forgot to turn on your mic. Yo, turn it on. Nope, didn't listen. Here's a shark attack. Got him. The shark begged for his life. Omar showed no mercy. Omar helped me get some drawings ready for some future drops. Get this work. Legit check the burgundies. He's bummed. Designs. We're out. We're headed to Natty Rims where we go once or twice a week. And my man Ernie is lost. 45 minutes later, we pull into Natty Rims and we cop. This is where I stepped in mud and destroyed my belugas. This is where I'm explaining all the work I have to do today, and I also discover that I don't have my weed. So I call Ern, and I'm like, yo, you gotta come back to sign all these prints. I'm explaining how to turn a vlog into a vlog, and I realize that the mic is off. All right, so it is at this moment right now that I just discovered the mic has been off all day. Um, <laughs> Which is pretty funny because uh, we're kind of in a clusterfuck right now because this entire week is just wedding week. Uh, Ern is getting married on Saturday. I am the minister at the wedding. So today I actually have got to basically write my speech and the entire wedding situation. I have to write all that and I have to work on design stuff. Ern is uh, dealing with his side of the world today because he uh, flies out tomorrow to New York to get prepared for his stuff. I fly out Wednesday night, so it's really kind of a crunch right now. We're, we're in crunch time. I have to sign these prints. I have these other products I'm working on. I have these new designs that I'm working on that I have to get done because I'm basically gone. I leave from here on uh, I leave from here on Wednesday. I'm in New York until Saturday. I fly to Vegas on Sunday. I fly home on Tuesday, and then I fly to Atlanta on Friday. So I'm all over the place. There's a bunch of merch that has to get finished. There's so much work to do. So I'm really really busy today. I really fucking cannot believe that I left the mic off. Uh, no battery. It's amazing. But so what I wanted to do today um, was talk about, <laughs> I wanted to do this even before I uh, knew I didn't have the mic on, was talk about vlogging because there's been like a little bit of like topics on one, how to start a YouTube channel, why you should start a YouTube channel, the contents of the YouTube channel and things of that nature. So the one thing I did want to go ahead and talk about was that. So one of the uh, main things about starting a YouTube channel would be equipment, right? So first things first is camera. Personally, I use the Canon EOS 70D with a Canon zoom lens EF7 10 to 18 millimeter. I'm actually reading it off the lens right now. Um, that's what I use and then I have a Shure mic. It's the Shure Lens Hopper VP83. You must remember to turn it on, which I do sometimes. So then the other thing is your lighting. When you start a YouTube channel, you might not afford lighting. You might not even afford this nice camera. You can start with your iPhone, absolutely. One thing that does drastically change the quality of your videos is lighting. As you see, I'm moving into natural light, it's nicer. Spotlight is a Diva Ring, which is also used for makeup tutorials in case I decide that I want to turn into a straight diva. I have the option. And then I have these softbox lights. There's two of them, but they're not both turned on right now from Sab. These lights aren't in the right spots, just turned them on but you can tell already how that improves the quality of the video off jump. Quality is a big thing. People want quality these days. Everything's in 4K, HD, 3D printed, whatever have you. But I will not discourage you and say that you can't start a YouTube channel without it because you absolutely can. You could do this from your iPhone. You're not always gonna have the best conditions with your iPhone. Uh, sound might not be as good. Picture might not be as good. But while you work your way up and while you try to figure out if you can make any money doing this, you certainly don't need to go out and spend, you know, $3,000. You're back. Guess what else? Guess what else happened today while we were gone? Uh-oh, what? Fucking the mic battery was dead all morning until I got right back here. The mic has been off. It's just all, <laughs> you know, how to stay motivated when everything's going wrong. I think I want to hit this before I leave. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Now, 
The tripod that I use, this tripod, this Joby, I don't know what it's called. I'll look it up and I'll flash it on the screen, but uh, it's a Joby tripod with the bendable arms. You've seen them on most every vlog that you've ever seen. There's a metal one and there's a plastic one. I prefer the metal one because it's more durable. Um, so yeah, speaking of equipment, I also use a couple of other cameras. The one I'm shooting on right now is, oh, Here's the shoes that I ruined last night. So there's a puddle that I probably showed you in the beginning of this vlog. This left shoe went fully into mud. The right shoe has not. The left shoe still looks a little bit darker, but it's still a little bit wet. I don't know if these will come fully clean, but we'll see. But yeah, other cameras and lenses. So I use all these other lenses. Um, these, some of these are expensive. This is a 50 millimeter. So some of the arty stuff, we get kind of artsy with it. Uh, these are all just like different stuff. You know, this is stuff you can upgrade to and there's really no right or wrong you just kind of pick lenses and cameras to go with what you want to do also have this canon eos 5d mark 3 pretty awesome camera professional camera so uh, this is an expensive one probably like you know a three thousand dollar camera with the lens whereas the other one's like you know a couple hundred bucks or not a couple hundred bucks but like five or six hundred bucks and then other equipment as well um for some stuff we got uh where is it? It's under this pile of shit somewhere. Oh, and the GoPro Hero 5. Just started using this really for dash camp, but this will definitely get used this year during snowboard season. So, since you didn't see the setup earlier, this is how the setup looks when I'm shooting. So you can see it. I'll turn this light off. That is the 70D. That is the mic. And this is the Joby. Speaking of shoe collection. For all you shoe nuts out here. Shoes. We got an Omar. Be it mischievous. Come on. But yeah, different equipment, different things. Come on. Let's go. Uh, and I've got to get to signing more of these so we can get them out and get some drawings done for the future. Okay. So now. Why should you start a YouTube channel? The only reason you should start a YouTube channel ever is because you want to. That's it. If you want to start a YouTube channel, start a YouTube channel. Just do it. Sorry for the Nike pun, but you really should just do it. Every day that you don't start it is one more day that you are not taking a step in the direction that you want to go in. That's with anything. Weight loss, studying, job, whatever, you know, anything that you want to do. You gotta, you've got to just start. A failure to launch is one of the biggest things in the world. People take stock of how much work it is in their head or come up with all the reasons why they can't do it and they never do it. So just begin is the biggest thing, like just do it. And then the second biggest thing is to stay consistent. If you're gonna do a YouTube channel and you expect people to subscribe and you expect people to like and actually be engaged in what you're doing, you're going to have to engage with them. You've got to produce content. You've got to do it. So that leads me to the content itself. Uh, content itself is subjective. There's been a lot of talk, which is kind of what like promoted me to make this video. There's been a lot of talk about uh, the sneaker content and things of that nature. Um, when I started this channel, you can even go back to the very first video. This channel was never exclusively about sneakers and I did that on purpose. And that's because sneakers are one part of my life. It's a very big part of my life and it's definitely connected to me to a lot of people, but there's all these other things that I do. You know, I'm a creative person. Person. I make art, I tattoo for a living, I travel, I, have, I love my dog, like I have a personality, I think I'm hilarious. You know, there's all these things kind of become a brand in the end of the day once people put them all together and they're like, I like this, um, it does become a brand. You have to make sure that one, you're being yourself and that you have something to offer to people. Uh, people don't want to hear you, you know, stumble through things or not know what you're talking about just to make it. So I do think that there's these levels of content creation where you do need to stay very true to yourself and create only the content that you want to make. Like I, I don't think that you should play to your audience. I don't think just because everyone wants to see the Louis Vuitton Supreme that you know you should go out and buy Louis Vuitton Supreme because they like it. The views and the money that are going to come from the views for something crazy like that, are not, it's not it's not going to even out even close to evening out. It's just not something that I would do. My advice is to be you. Like I know that sounds so cliche. I know that's what you hear everybody say, but really it comes down to being a fucking cool person and sharing your experience with the world, especially in the vlog format. When people ask me, are you worried about this? Are you worried about that? Like, I'm not. I'm here to create content. I'm here to be honest. I'm here to, like, yes, give you a sneaker review when I get one because 
literally everyone asks and we're all interested in this thing but i'm also here to show you what happens you know like we're going to earn's wedding this week you know i've traveled we you guys saw me lose my dog you saw me get omar like it's an experience you know and then you get invested like in anything um you want to see what happens next so it's the same thing like i think creating a story is important but i also think you're creating that story naturally by just living your life being honest and taking the time to film it and that's another big thing about vlogging is the management you know it's easy to, in your head to say i'm just not going to film this i'm just not going to take the camera here i'm just not going to do that like there's so many excuses that you're going to come up with in your own head as to why you shouldn't make something that day and that's also not just with youtube that's with anything as well like i Every morning I wake up and my brain tells me to go back to sleep. And my brain tells me, you yeah, know, I don't really want to do that today. I don't think I'm going to do that. And, and I eventually, by the time I wake up, start moving around, get my brain moving uh, in another direction, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to vlog. So you've just got to work through it and you've got to stay consistent and you've got to put forth the effort. You are ego or whatever is going to tell you that you don't you just just don't need to do it today but you do you should do it every day just like the days where you have all of these things go wrong like my whole entire day was shot because i couldn't turn on my or i forgot to check the battery you know so it happens so that's another thing the trials and tribulations of trying to do this uh the hate comments the misunderstanding the technical issues all of these things are just things you have to kind of work through technical issues just find a way, you know, like when something happens, just find a way to make it interesting, funny, entertaining, even if you have to come on to the camera and explain like, hey, I fucked up today. Hate comments. If you don't have a thick skin, I say don't read your comments at all. Um, I know that sucks for the people that are leaving positive feedback. And for those people that leave positive feedback, creators, we love you. Like, absolutely. You guys, um, you know, you have no idea what it's like at the end of a long day to have people appreciate your work and tell you that they appreciate it. On the other hand, at the end of a long day, if you have people tell you that you're a piece of shit, it annoys you because you just worked really hard to bring somebody something for free and instead of just clicking off of it, they're you know spewing out whatever they want to spew out. So if you don't have a thick skin, I say just don't read the comments at all and that's just the way it is. Or develop a thick skin. You also have to realize that these people who leave these comments just don't have lives. That's it. They're not invested in you. They're not fans of you. They don't care about your channel. They are just working out some sort of personal issue through themselves via your vlog comments. Constructive criticism is great. It's a very big aspect of it and a lot of trolls will use that in the end and be like, well, I'm just giving constructive criticism. No, they're not. Constructive criticism can come from all kinds of places, but me personally as an artist, I ask for constructive criticism from the people that I respect the most and then I apply that. If someone, if I read comments and someone has a point, uh, take value in it if there is any, but you know, 80% of hate comments are just other people working out some sort of personal bullshit. So don't worry about it. Ignore, grow thick skin. That's how you get through the comment section. And then time management, you know, like there's a lot of things that happen, hey, Chill with the shoes, bro. Uh, there's a lot of things that happen with time management. You want to go on dates. You want to go out and do this. You want to go do that. Or your content's going to come first, you know? So that's a being dedicated is a big thing if you want to grow your channel. So if you're trying to grow your channel, absolutely uh, stay consistent. Upload daily. I do five days a week. I know some people say I should do seven, but I, I need the days off just to even clean my house because my life is chaotic. Um, you just need to be yourself. Find a way to connect to people. All your other social media channels, you also need to do the same thing social media the key word is social we live in this world where people want to look cooler than I don't know what but they just want to look cool and want to have you know millions of followers and not follow anybody and not respond to anybody things like that and um, that's not really how it works you know it's social media so you have to kind of be social I feel like making a connection and wanting to be social you know you don't oh I'm just gonna be social be social like that's not the point either you've got to be into what you're talking about if you're faking the funk it's not gonna work. It's just the way the world works. Find your passion, figure out what it is you wanna share with the world and just share it and just continue to share it and keep sharing it and don't stop sharing it. Even when someone calls you fat and ugly and tells you that your channel is dying and tells you that your content sucks and tells you they hate you, don't stop doing it because for every one of those comments that you read where someone was saying something like that, there's another 10 comments telling you what a great job you did and how awesome you are and how much you've helped them. Really the only thing that stands out is people that don't like you, that's gotta change. So pay attention to the positive, stay consistent, and just 
film, 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 and edit, 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 and upload. Uh, that's it, that's all you need. Other than software, software that I use, I use Premiere, <clears throat> I have a Mac, I have a very fast Mac. I guess that's one of the main things I say you need first and foremost, a very fast computer. There's nothing more frustrating than trying to edit on a slow computer or anything that's like lagging. So for me personally, a computer is probably the bigger purchase than even the camera. If I'm editing from my iPhone or if I'm shooting from my iPhone, I'd still want to edit on um, a computer. So I edit with Premiere, Adobe Premiere. I've used iMovie and I've also used, what's that other one? I can't remember the name of it. Um, Final Cut, I've used them all. I just like Premiere better. If you don't know the software, don't let that discourage you either. It's really easy to learn and there's tutorials everywhere. So you can figure it out. Part of this whole thing, it's a learning experience for you as well. As a vlogger, as a creator, you're learning um, all kinds of things, like how to deal with people, how to make content, how to be your own boss, how to manage your time. There's a lot of really awesome lessons that you'll learn from this if you just stay consistent and be open to the experience. But yeah, don't let the software, uh, don't let the software stop. I know people who put up vlogs that are barely even edited. So you, you can definitely do it. Um, you just need to do it and you need to not get discouraged by anything. Lack of views, none of it matters. Just keep consistent. Keep telling the people that you're gonna be here tomorrow. Keep telling the universe this is what you want. And I promise you, that one day all these things will work out if you just keep fucking doing it. I promise, I promise. I know it sounds cliche, but I promise. You know, above all, keep it real. You know, it's like today's a perfect example. Uh, my mic was off for half a day. I could have just been like, yo, fuck it, uh, or made up some bullshit, or, you know, gone out and done some forced fake whatever the fuck, like go to the mall and buy a shoe I don't even want just so I can show everybody a shoe, just so I can have a vlog, just so I can get it done. Like, that's not the point. You know, like the point is this is an experience. Everybody gets to see it unfold and they get to choose to see it. Anyone that comes to your channel complaining, they're choosing to watch. No one is fucking making you hit the play button. So like, that's just, again, don't even worry about that. It's keeping it real. Like I'm telling you guys like, hey, I fucked up today. You know what I mean? Like maybe there's a voiceover at the beginning of this vlog. I don't know, but I fucked up. And this is what happened to me today, and this is how it goes. And even in the days where I'm like, yo, I didn't really leave my house. It's like, I, I just worked on this other stuff. This is what I did. You can't be afraid to lose people um, by being yourself. Like, what the fuck? You know, like, again, that's not just YouTube. If you're going to lose somebody by being yourself, then those people are not really people that you, you didn't lose anything. That's my advice. Hope that helped somebody. The rest of my day, I've got to write. This wedding, I don't even know what this is called. A minist it's not a minstrel. I, I don't even know, that sounds crazy. I've gotta write the uh, whole wedding. Hopefully my um, Versace robe gets here tomorrow that I ordered for the wedding. Or else, when I get to New York, I'm gonna have to go buy another robe, which I don't wanna do. Yeah, I've gotta draw. I've, we have a ton of stuff coming. The drop last week was crazy. I have all these prints to sign so they can get out tomorrow. I don't know if I've mentioned since this has been back on, but the power went out in the shop today, so there's been a slight delay in shipping merch. Um, I've got to do a bunch of design work for future drops. We have a lot of really cool stuff coming. We are working on a lot of really cool stuff like jackets and pants. There's a hat coming, a couple different colorways of the hats. Just like, we are working our asses off. It's been crazy. You guys' support has been crazy. I'm really, really looking forward to uh, showing everybody and getting it out there and having you guys, uh, you know, really looking forward to sharing this shit with everybody. So soon enough, soon enough, um, I'm gonna get to work. So we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I'll try to remember to turn the mic on tomorrow too.